Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign, playing as a certain nation, a certain Capitol Hill autonomous zone, but usually called the Washington Brotherhood. So, we're going to leave historical AI focuses off, custom game rules, nothing's going to be uh, different, it's all going to be default, I have no idea what's going to happen, and let us begin. So, the mods I'm using are State Transfer Tool Mod, Colored Buttons, Colored Events, Player Led Peace Conferences, Old World Blues of course, and Old World Blues but the mod compilation. Cool, so we're playing as Chaz of the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone, but even though we've kind of expanded out a little bit here and there, we, like normal, are surrounded by people who don't like us, and we need to make sure that we will be okay for the coming days, weeks, months, how long we can stand against other people, I guess you could say. Cool, let's, let, let's be led by the Elder Immortal. Let's see. Intelligent Nerd Rage. Very good. I love Chaz. Uh, we don't have any command power, so that's useless, you guys. We'll get the main force under Star Paladin Rodriguez. I think his name is Juan, if I remember my lore correctly. Uh, hopefully, we don't run out of supplies quickly. Hopefully, we don't, but you never know. Cool. Uh, so you guys can come over here. And how many... We have two units of the power armor, four lore and ghosts as well as the page three. That's very good. Well, you guys can't really do anything, so I'm going to tell you guys to stay. Stay. And by staying, I mean attack. You guys do that. And over here, we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing. You guys come over here. And we got to take over parts of Washington State, as the autonomous zone should do. You guys are going to just... Actually, just go ahead and start attacking. We're going to surround these guys as best as we possibly can. You guys do that. You guys do that. You guys hold... Ooh, there's a bear. There's a bear right there. Oh, he's an adorable bear. Cool. Is that? He was a pop, 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 pop. Uh, I really just need everyone to hold each other in place, hold each other tightly and firmly. But we must do our founding. While High Elder Maxim was the founder of the Brotherhood as a whole, each chapter had its own founders. Those that spread the word of the dangers of technology farther into the wasteland. Who were our founders? I have no idea. I've never played as these guys before and we got some mall exiles Fred's men oh very nice and Portland overseers beautiful just going through you guys on the line here that'd be fine with me we have five research slots because of course we are advanced it sounds like it's going to be like a very fun campaign even though the biggest issue for us will most likely be manpower but of course manpower eventually won't be a problem at least I hope Cool. We got some common energy weapons. I love those. We don't need any of this, so bye bye. Scavenge PA, and that's all we can build, huh? Three and three, so be it. Let's see. Longboats, triremes, canoes. I don't believe in canoes, right? Live. Let's see. Triremes, heavy ships. You know what? How much of a navy do we have right now? None. No navy. So be it. Uh, I don't want to use garbage for now, even though I do want to attack up north. We are just going to build one ship, and then build the rest as convoys to get a lot of naval XP first. Beautiful. And spec ops, don't need you. Train, go high, go low. Put you guys in, of course, the autonomous zone of Capitol Hill. Uh, Raider Warbands, 10 combat width, not ideal. But we'll work with what we've got. Conscript Brigades, very good. Do we have any occupied territories? They should be led by that. Very good. And we must pacify the wasteland. Also, what do we need? More guns? Yeah, definitely going to need more guns where we're going. All right, let us begin. Immediately attacks. So we can take Mount Olympus. Very good. Oh, you guys should definitely let them move. Make sure you keep everyone in place. That's the most important thing for now. And, of course, we're out of material weaponry. We could go straight for Yakima, but that won't be enough to kill them off, so... Oh, a founding is already done. So, while High Elder Max, who was the founder of the Brotherhood as a whole, each chapter had its own founders, those that spread the word of the dangers of technology farther into the wasteland. Who were our founders? Our founders were the scribes for more stability, which... Oh, that's not a lot of stability. Our founders were paladins, more support. Well, I'm going to go with stability just because we're at zero, but now we have five. Our interim. Each chapter of the Brotherhood had its own, has its own priorities. Some focus on collecting the powerful weapons of the old world, while some prioritize the industrial machinery and tools. What did we focus on? Hmm, what did we focus on? Uh, if they're going to struggle up there, just cut them off and just hold them in place. Uh, this is very nice, very nice. Yes, this is probably unnecessary for me to attack as, you know, I'm moving around, but it is what it is. 
Our interim. Each chapter of the Brotherhood. Uh, we kind of already read this. What do we focus on, though? Focus on industrial machinery. I like that. We focus on weapons. I'm going to go with machinery because I want a massive industrial base here in Capitol Hill. Wow, we don't have a lot of room. Hmm. Oh, that's okay. Our future, though. We have learned plenty in the years that are now behind us. We must now use that experience and make preparations for the many years that are in front of us. Uh, every time I look up and see my political power or my stability, I get a little disappointed. Let's disable those. Restore Naswi. Anti-air, evil dockyards. We can wait on that for now, really. When we, and eh, just go and build up the naval station Everett. Oh, you beat him too quickly. Do that then. Go that way. Come on. Ah, right, nice job. Up him up first. Come on, guys. You got this. They're only guys. Hey, there goes Olympus Drive. All you have to do is take Mount Olympus. Sounds very Greek to me. You guys come over here. Do that. Do that. Do that. Get another dude. George Posey. Oh, he's your bunker kid. You can't. You don't get learn as much. Oh, that's disappointing. That's all right though. We still have uses for you. Beautiful. And our future. We have learned plenty in the, the years are now behind us. We've already read this, so we'll produce more ourselves. I like the factory output. We will gather more from the wasteland. I like that as well. Resource efficiency. We're actually doing really, really well so far. So I'm gonna go with. We go out to make more stuff. Now, this is kind of a generic focus tree. It's very similar to the Mojave Wasteland. Actually, it looks like the exact same one, except for the right side here. So, we gotta take out the Yakuma Nation first, but we shall do... Let's do our might. Our, our goal, I mean. Our goal. The Brotherhood's ideology is straightforward. We desire a world in which the recklessness of man cannot be enabled by the tools he wields. A world in which atrocities aren't committed for the sake of scientific progress. This is why we confiscate technology and destroy that which we cannot confiscate. All of our duties are for the good of mankind as a whole. And we love to do it as a whole. Nice. Cut those guys up north completely off from everyone else. And we might struggle. We might lose a little bit of manpower. Hey, we killed those guys off down there. And that's okay. They support the rabble. Oh, five slaves ran away. Oh, we have slaves. I love slaves. Yeah, it's already past the little minute mark where YouTube doesn't like it. Who cares? Oh, right. Conscripts. I love the conscripts. Freedom fighters, as some of them might call them. Well, some of them. Definitely some of them. Cool, come up that way. Go ahead and take Yakima. Go ahead and take, well, uh, that thing right there. And then you guys go and take Cable Bridge. Never been there? I've never been on this part of the West Coast. I've been to San Diego, but never Washington. You might as well try to help them out here. Awesome, we have taken Yakima. Kennewick is the capital now. Hey, look, an encirclement. I uh, hope our guys are learning a lot. I love encirclements. Go ahead, go ahead. Good. Beautiful. And the Yakima Nation has perished from this earth. Truly a beautiful scene. So, next up, we'll probably go to war with the cause immediately, but let us reorganize this a little better. Well, I love the militia. I prefer Raider War Bands. Portland Overseers. Very cool. And I'm going to actually put the General, Star Paladin, with you guys. Not that I don't like y'all, but let's be real. Power armor is probably going to be the best thing that we have right now. Oh, these guys are pretty good. Skilled. I like George here. George Jenkins. Huh. Oh, and I gave this person more experience gain. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Uh, I like you, George, but actually, did you learn a lot? You, you didn't learn that much. There you go. Actually, mm, you know what? Let's put you in half. Bring back that one dude. Bring back George. You kind of like George. So you guys are going to be like right here. You all force the way over there. Uh, let's let time go on a little bit. You guys come over there. And then we'll probably go to war with the cause soon enough. And maybe go to the war with the Ma. I don't know. Let's see what happens. Go ahead and train. Because we like having good soldiers. Oh, wow. That manpower is not looking muy bueno, as some might say. We already are on four-year conscription, which isn't very good. We definitely need to get here. Well, it's going to take seven years for us to get there. Our goal? Well, that's good to get, since... Occupying this place is you know, going to cost quite a bit. Actually, for now, go and do that. Uh, you know what? Do that. Do no occupation. I want that manpower back because manpower is precious. And we're going to get free cores on it later anyways. It doesn't matter. Ah, construction basics. Cool. Work is needed. I've only chosen uh, work assignments once. Because it's the other one is really not worth it. It's really not worth choosing work assignments. 
get some of that for monthly manpower, and let's focus on our land doctrine, which we're going to do refined warfare, because power armor is yum yum. Not sure what else to say about it, except that it's yum yum. And what can we do here? We got research advisor, military theorist, more daily army XP game, which is nice. Uh, field medic, Talso, Cormac, Boston, Landon. Scribe. Hmm. Surveyor. Uh, construction speed, more resource gains. Mastermind, decorated hero. I'm definitely going to get Mastermind so we can make everything, or most things, cheaper to get. And get more daily political power, which is... I mean, let's be real. We're gonna have to need. We're gonna. We're gonna need that if I can speak. But let's do within the blizzard. Within the perpetual snow of the north, there's a city unlike any other. A city inhabited by ghosts. They say that if you step foot in their city, you never return. Those vengeful spirits loathe the living. Their eyes burn like orange coals of distorted desire, dragging you deep, deep into their heart. They make you one of them. It takes 60 days to make sure we get to that, and we gotta get rid of this as well. So. I Nice, 10% cheaper. Which isn't a whole lot, but every political power point counts. Hey, look. Our one ship. Led by a good admiral named Alfred. Alfred the Admiral, who's French. Caustic personality. Oh my goodness, that does not sound good to me. Uh, good, we have one in there. That's fine. Good. Uh, do we have, a, we have a surplus of guns, so we gotta make sure we got enough of this. Thank you. Actually, do it like that. There you go. That's much better. We had a lot of research. We have a ton of research to do. Expel the Rift Raft. We, eh, it's not really worth it. Weekly stability for... for oh, research speed. That's not bad. Get more... You know what? I'm going to cl click on that one right now. Oh, but I do want to buy some slaves. Ah. The biggest and strongest slaves. Yes. Yes, please. Okay, sell some updated equipment. Would that be worth it? 800. We're losing a little bit every day. Let's, let's wait a little bit first. Now, uh, the Troll War. We might have to deal with those guys later on. I want to buy slaves. I need more... Oh, I need more caps. I, I, I love slaves. How many slaves we got? Currently, we have 29. We get one slave a month. That's not much. That really ain't much, but that's okay. At least we get more manpower and we can actually get some free cores. And within the blizzard... Uh, must be cold up there. Probably. Nice. Put some internal sphere. Anything down here? We got we more stuff with that. It's gonna take a while to get more caps, so it doesn't really matter too much. Can I? Ah, so beneath the blizzard, the draped streets of Seattle lies an underground network of abandoned houses, streets, and bunkers. At its heart, a foreboding bulkhead of the word Secure Site P1. Painted across it still lies. This door only opens for a select few, whose sigil was burned onto their battered armor within the depths of the facility beyond. They dragged travelers down into the depths of their base, using them as unwilling test subjects or as a labor force to excavate their damaged base. This is the seat of power for a new bloody brotherhood, one whose path to progress is built upon the corpses of the weak. Their leader, a ghoul whose skin has fused with his armor, is known only as the Immortal. From within the sanctum at the facility's heart, his orders flow throughout the ranks. His men creep through the city and abduct travelers as they scavenge, their glowing visors illuminating the gloom around them as they roam. The Washington Brotherhood traveled to Seattle to investigate Secure Site P1, a research laboratory and military complex designed to research the occult. It was believed at the time that radiation might be capable of unlocking some form of paranormal abilities, and the bunker was constructed to research this possibility in depth. Its surgeries are equipped like butcher's shops, and its halls are lined with nail marks. When the Brotherhood arrived, they found a facility left abandoned, falling apart at the seams, but filled with knowledge and potential. Now, as their control over Washington expands, their grasp on Alaska begins to tighten. The North shall be ours. Beautiful. And let's go with the Wolk of Tarmac. Uh, anything over here? Decorated hero. I could probably use that stability immediately. Yeah, I like this. Research advisors. Wait, general wait and see. Uh, I like the hardness on Blair, which sounds honestly kind of weird, but that's okay. Division. Oh, I, I like... I like the wait and see. I like Blair, but if I can hurt people a little harder, I will. That sounds really bad as well. Um, anyways, uh, just give me that stability first. I want more stability, and we shall do without a cause. With the state of Washington firmly underneath his control, the immortal's gaze wanders to the rebels of the cause and their traitorous leader. A grim example must be made of both Abel and any who supported his impertinent betrayal. Absolutely. So you guys look all pretty good so far. Uh, no, we. Oh, look at. Mm, look at that manpower. Mm. 
We have less than 100,000 people under our community. We must expand the autonomous zone. We got a lot of research. Like I said, we got a ton of research. That's not bad. All we have, though, are guns. Mm, how many extra guns do we have? That's really not going to be enough for what I want. We definitely want to make these 20 combat width. Uh, but let's see. We only have 8 army XP. It's slowly going up. Sort of. Not really, actually. Yeah, whatever. Um, throw them right there for now. That's fine. If that's the case, I do want to save on this. I'm really going to try to use just power armor for now. That's probably going to be the most important thing. Dude, actually, how many battalions can I field? I can field up to 95. Five, with a minimum of 60. Oh no, we're six. Oh, we're allowed 60. We're allowed 60. I'm only fielding 18, which... Eh, 15 combat width really isn't ideal. Let's see, one, two... I'm going to save these last two slots for demo team uh, power armor, which is pretty darn good. Hey, look at that. <sighs> I love slaves. The art of haggling. Oh, that goes by so quick. I like the little achievements they have in uh, Old World Blues. It's very nice. That's nice to get little achievements. It makes you feel good. And the defenses are online. We lose manpower. Why? Oh, as expected, they received major casualties and have lost more than 70% of the operational strength. We do not expect them to recover anytime soon from against the base's automated turrets. Oh. oh, pray for the casualties. This better be worth it. Yeah, for the love of God, we can't afford losses like that. Hey, but at least we got more slaves. Now we get 31. Soon enough, we'll have more. Yeah, these guys down here, they're going to be a big old problem. We might consider taking them out early, or at least as fast as possible. We don't know how strong they are. We don't know how strong they are down there. Without a cause, though, beautiful. Uh, honestly, all this stuff over here can wait. So, let's see. All core land of the cause must be owned by us. Fellow savages. All core land is owned by us. Oh, I can fight Port Maw. Nice. And the old country, too. Electronics. Outposts. Our right. Aerial operations. Which gives us air XP, which is not great. I like the attack. Let's go with our might. The Brotherhood of Steel is feared and respected throughout the Wasteland for our military might. In terms of combat effectiveness, we are high above the drags the Wasteland has to offer. One man in power armor is worth ten unarmored soldiers, if not more. Studying previous engagements will help us improve our future combat doctrine. Absolutely. Can't wait. And you know what? Since we're here, since we're having a good time, I don't know how strong these guys are. But let's just blow straight through them, if possible. Invite to the Northern League. Oh, we are, are in our own faction. Old World Naval Targeting System. The cause. Wealthy. Vice City. Clean Water. You don't have a unique focus tree, which is okay. Which is okay. Not every country is going to be able to afford one. Uh, I'm going to definitely let you guys go a little nuts. I definitely want you guys to go a little nuts as well. I'm going to let you guys kind of hang out. I don't want to cause casualties over there. Let the power armor do this. They're not going to get pierced, which is a great thing. Let everyone just move out and enjoy themselves. War propaganda. We could use more war support. I think that'd be kind of nice. Uh, anything over here? Raider conscripts. Wow, we're already on that. Slave conscripts, maybe. All mutants allowed. That is... that. I'm not going to switch this just because it doesn't make any sense for us to do this. It really doesn't make any sense at all. I'll get that because we need more army XP. Especially for where we're going. Actually, you know what? You guys are containing these guys. You might as well... Head over here. Do that, do that. I don't want you to... I want them to struggle a little bit longer. Just because we can encircle them. Capture the war and what will happen in the north. Okay, I guess I'm not going to... Okay, then. No mutants that we're going to really have to murder for now. Okay. You know what? I'm okay with that. Get some of those. That's so important to get crowd gear. It can be so useful. Especially for a nation like us. That it. it's very difficult for us to get manpower. Now I guess we're winning too strong. Right. No, how about here? No, no, no. Come that way. You guys come over here. Did they abandon the post over there? No, they did not, which is fine with me. Oh, come on, man. I just want to kill them off. Why has it got to be so difficult? We get 1.18 political power a day, which isn't bad. It's not great, but not bad. We took the hood settlements. Go that way. You hold them in place. Where is the uh, Fort William at? Cool. Since everyone left you guys, using 11 divisions to attack one motorized dude, should be okay. Nice seed selection. A little bit ahead of time, if that's the case. It's not that ahead of time. Let's do that. Good. Build up our industry. Well, I guess we're not really going to have too many mutants to deal with. Nice. The cause is ours. Beautiful. Hmm. Rib breakers. They probably won't be too much of a problem. We're going to go with Port Moth first. So let's see what happens. Actually, that's not a good idea, you guys. 
Come over here. Well, let's change that up. We can let time go on just by a little bit. There you go. You guys do the same thing. Rot. Verish. And the PA. Uh, my lovely, lovely power armor. Right there, my friends. Cool. Get some more caps. Maybe get some more slaves. Brotherhood of Steel declared war on a royal. Alright then. Basic tools. You might as well grab that too. 7,000 manpower. Never enough. Never ever gonna be enough. Alright. And about a week left for this. Cool. So far, I'd say we're doing pretty darn well. Pretty darn well. Go ahead and train those guys that need it. And the wasteland is looking well. Pretty wasted. Antiotic there one scorpions. Very nice. Kaiser, please tell me you're doing stuff. So. Please tell me you're not glitched at all. Our might. Good. Let's go ahead and do Port Ma. Fellow savages. Actually, when can we core stuff on... Ooh. Oh, hunting the first. Hold on. So... Or any of their subjects share a border with us, and the troll warrant is either not a puppet or not in a faction with us. So we can't get that. Damage garrisons. Interesting. Regardless, we're going to still take their territory. So traders who brave the northern seas are as likely to curse Port Mall as they are to praise it. Small vessels are often molested in the open waters by pirates from Port Mall, their crews killed and their goods stolen. In darker corners of the port, pi pirates whisper about their dealings with ghosts. Slaves for guns, shiny things for lasers. Supposedly, one man even fished up an obelisk for them. Oh boy. Oh boy. So, yeah, I'm looking at this. Hunting the first. We can't get this since the troll warrant has already died. That's disappointing. But we still get our. Plus, we don't lose non core manpower. We still get more damage to garrisons, but you know what? I guess that's okay. Attack the warren. Hmm. Claims on unlocks territory dispute decisions for the troll warren's former core territories. Constitution of Force. Very cool. Rapid deployment. Awesome. Death or Glory, which I like. Enslave the Weak, always a great thing to do. Dark Ambitions, Dark Foundries, yes please. Black Paladins, nice. Decimate and Despoil. Expand our Dominion. I love that. I love that so much. Uh, it's a little bit ahead of time. Let's start researching some plane stuff. Uh, nice. Arroyo is no more. I got a little bit of political power too. Can't buy any more slaves. A little disappointing, but whatever. Let's go ahead and grab that faster construction speed so we can build this up, up as fast as possible. Oh, that would be so nice. That would be quite nice. Hopefully we get the old country with us. You know what? If they say no... Or actually, it's Port Mall. We can invite Port Mall. It, I kind of hope they say no, but I kind of hope, hope they say yes. Because I don't want to, you know, have to fight these guys. Eventually we can integrate them later on. But old country. I do need to play as this country eventually. The Grazdan Heikolf. Frozen and weak. Old soldiers. Tough people and old world naval targeting system. Wow, that doesn't really help you too much, probably. They do have, oh, the Great War. A unique focus treaty. The new country. Permanent. 25% reduction in coring costs. Now that is nice. Mmm. Yummy, yummy. Uh, I do want to spend time with that. Reduce consumer goods. I like myself a little bit of stability. Nice. As you censor patriots, since we are here, probably we can get more manpower. That's okay. So, the north is where men lose their sense. That's what they say. Stubborn prospectors who ignore danger. Foolish youths following dreams of spun silver. And desperate men with nothing left to lose. These are the pilgrims of the north. Their one and only port of call before the endless white is an old country. A nation of pre-war ghouls who long for the days of yore. The Great Alaskan Expedition. That sounds like a lot of fun. I do want to go to war with Bellingham and everyone up north as fast as possible. I love this picture of the Immortal, too. I love this one. So, Port Ma's Mighty Gate unfurled a deep red flag from atop its battlements. The dark sigil of the Washington Brotherhood displayed for all to see. Already numerous captains of the Maw and their officers could be seen in armor. Their loyalty to the Maw's new allies rewarded for all to see. Although still independent for now, the Brotherhood has already sunk its dark roots deep into the foundations of the nation. Eventually, it would be theirs. Just as expected. Beautiful. If that is the case, and we must do what we must, you know what? Um, as much as I love putting you guys together, I'm going to pull you off, even though I love your strength. I'm going to get someone new. Wade McClellan, less speed, less supply consumption, more attack, more defense. So you minus 10% supply consumption, and just a little bit less speed. Not bad. Oh, we're going to go. I got to go with inspirational, because I wanted to learn as much as fast as possible. If that is the case, well, we have a new enemy right here. 
Brighton Bush. I love Bush. Brighton Bush. Cool. Um, you guys actually come here, and then pop, pop, pop. That's how they do it in the Washington Brotherhood or the Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone. Ah, factories. More power armor. Look at that. Naval XP plus 0 0.303 a day. By the time we go to war with New Victoria, I hope we have a whole lot more. Uh, oh, we need some of this. Uh, power armor and ships, really. Alright, that's the case. Do that, because yeah, we're going to need a lot of that. Nice. Ah, yes. Very good. We only get 1.46 a day. You know, it is what it is. Whatever. Clamp down on autonomy. I love having an ally here. Industrial support. Nice. I love gliders. Warrior training. Yes, please. Yes, please. Support equipment. Probably going to be pretty darn necessary as well. Very good. Very good. Power armor is not looking great. Uh, we do have 20 army XP. Riders. Throw one more guy on there. Beautiful. And it takes about 125 to field those. We don't even have one yet. It's good to keep that in mind. Oh, oh hold on. we got to do that. I don't mind losing a little bit of manpower as long as we can put these guys down as fast as possible. I should have remembered that earlier. That is my bad, my fault. So we get more compliance. Point. So it goes up by point. Almost by point three a day. It looks like it is going up by point three. Nice. Almost point two five. Close enough. Local workspace is great. Construction speed, great. Wow, we're doing one. Not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah. Uh, I'd rather do this one first because it's faster. Sinister Patriots, good. Enslave the weak, well. Mm, death or glory. Let's see. Do we need all both of these? So, uh, what do we want first? Initiates. Just if our rule goes down, so that's probably what we want to do first. So, black paladins, enslaving the weak and putting them to work isn't enough. We need to police them too. The strongest are picked to keep their brethren in line, and slowly but surely, they begin to slip into our grasp. Once they're cruel and broken, we can take them into our ranks, burning the seal into their flesh. Black paladins of the Washington Brotherhood are truly a terrible thing. The old country refuses. Ah. So the immortal elder looked down at the crumpled note in his hand with disgust, his armored fist tightening around its frayed edges in rage. The old country had refused his offer of allegiance, their love of the old world having blinded them to the true nature of the wasteland. Take their settlements and raise them to the ground. Leave none alive. There was a silence in the room as his attendant left. We should never put our faith in those mutants. Oh boy, I can't wait. All right then. They have made their choice, and we shall make ours. You guys strike from the south. You guys hold the line over the river. And let the power armor do God's work. Do we... Does this ever expire? It does not. We have... Everything is claimed. Oh, they have made a mistake. They should not have pissed us off. Six to twenty-six divisions, that's... They're going to need more for where, where we're going. Slaves? Hmm... Why not? I love slaves. Cool. It's more multi-population. I know I need to research more on this, uh, the other stuff. The uh, industrial electronic stuff. Cool. Let's see. Friend of Chiquitas. Brother subscribe. I like that one. But. Oh, field medic recovery rate. Over here. I want that attack. If we're attacking, I'm going to need that attack. All right. You guys looking good? Actually, before we go on, get some fighters eventually, too. We might get them, we might not. We only have 85 guys in reserve. That's okay. That's okay. Tough people. Old soldiers. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Hey, they're attacking our guys. Eh, it's good to be on defense for a while. Let them think that they can do what they can do. Flexibility command. I'm not really using, you really using support companies at all right now, so let's go with flexibility movement. Everyone could use more breakthrough. Uh, industrial support is gone. That's unfortunate. Oh, they can actually pierce me. Oh, no, 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 no. We can pierce them. Okay. Of course, Port Maw. We will gladly accept you into our ranks. Uh, you know, I will use you guys. I will use you. Hmm. Nice. That's a case. Yeah, I, I gotta... <clears throat> we must get more manpower eventually. Since we have you... 
Joshua Rosenkranz. Oh, he's using a targeting computer. Oh, that's disappointing. Survivalist. Oh, we'll go with reconnaissance. We'll go with reconnaissance because we can. Eventually, I do. I would like to get. Oh wow, you're giving me everyone, huh? Oh, not you. I want you. To, yeah, there you go. You're gonna help hold the line as we move forward with our power armor. Nice. Losses five versus three hundred. Not bad. Cool. You guys are there. Move up. Kick them out. Nice. These ghouls must be put down. And of course, it's going to take a little bit of time, but that's okay. Guys, those Legion hang dogs, help out, help out. And as long as they can't pierce us, we will be golden. Bone Dancers, Kimmel Station. We definitely need more infantry equipment, though. Holy cow. There you go. Work on that. You're going to need it. Electric City will be our goal. We will smash these guys down here first. And you guys are just kind of hanging out, having a good time. Black Paladins, I love it. Decimate and despoil. Mercy isn't a virtue, it's weakness. It's weakness. The moral immortal taught us during this during the long journey to Seattle. He showed us the true path, a path of suffering and victory. All who cannot be forced to work must be purged. There's no room for compassion in this frozen wasteland. Absolutely not. So you guys are 15 combat with as well. And you guys are 15 combat with as well. So they're exactly the same things. I love the Black Paladins. One of my favorite groups. War propaganda. Good. Good. Support equipment. Motorized flight. Mojave chapter has joined the Mojave Alliance. Well, good for you. Good for you. Definitely want to get some of these guys for where we're going, as well as train mongrels. Both are going to be incredibly important for what we need. And trying to fight through here, it is certainly taking quite a while. Star Paladin Rodriguez is learning how to become a Hills Fighter, which is awesome. Because once these guys are shattered, it's pretty much over for them. Even if we take Electric City, they're still going to have another victory point that we have to take over, so there's no point rushing for that. If anything, you guys should really straight up attack here too, and then once that's done, just get to Pasco Township to encircle these guys off. That would probably be the best thing we could do. Uh, I do need to start saving up some political power so we can start immediately coring things, or you know, core things as fast as possible. Uh, help out, help out. That'll be good. Antasma Cartel, very nice. Jackals have been annexed. Oh, guns are doing... Well, the guns were doing okay, but we must have recruited another division of power armor. Beautiful. NCR's at war, but what else is new? Come on, come on. You guys got this. Awesome. I should have done that a little earlier. Good. Help spread out. They stopped attacking. So be it. Go, go, go. Nice. And these folks have been encircled. As we intended. You guys, go this way. You guys, kill them off already. Plant cultivation. Uh, I can wait a little bit. I can wait just a little bit. We really need to do this stuff. Nice. Just kill them off. So far, we've lost about 28 guys versus 1,000. 2,000. Not bad. I'm expecting maybe 50 casualties, especially since we're using uh, our power armor the most. Good. Now spread out east as fast as possible. You guys have learned a great deal here. I'm going to actually have you guys come over here so we can cut these guys off. Go straight that way. You guys hold. Good. They're still attacking. That's fine. Expand east as fast as possible, and I will end the episode, I guess, pretty much right now, after we do expand our dominion. It's not enough for the Brotherhood to simply rest in their citadel buried in the heart of Seattle. They need more. More slaves. More resources. More facilities. More, more, more. That's what the immortal tells his men. It's what he mumbles to himself every day. More. The engines of war are turning again because the immortal demands it. And that, my friends, is where we're going to leave today's episode. But before we go, let me know in the comments. Should I use close air support with triplane attackers, eventually nuclear powered air attack planes, or should I use some R-plane bombers? Let me know in the comments below. 
as well as what should our agency intel group be named. Regardless, thank you very much for watching today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we shall take out the old country. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.